things you hope, bitch, nigga, we that. Like it so. Look at it. It's freaking July. And there's a whole bunch of ice on my truck. Because I'm way up in the mountains. I was making sure that that goddamn carnivorous raccoon wasn't around the area because a few months ago I had a problem with the raccoon who was up in them bitches. Those are dumpsters over there. And I just needed to go over there and bang on it a little bit, which probably isn't, probably wasn't the smartest idea. I probably could have drove my truck over there and honked the horn a little bit to see if they would, see if he would come out or not, especially because I'm wearing sandals. I come out here up into the mountains to make my videos because I personally do not like making YouTube videos in like my neighborhood for now i've been having like a lot of thoughts of like how am i like when am i gonna start like recording inside my neighborhood when am i going to start feeling safe about it but that's a different story for a different time but guess what i did four days ago four days ago i finally paid my rent on time i honestly i honestly did this a lot quicker i did this a lot quicker than i thought that i was going to because like i mean it was honestly like really scary being almost like being 26 days late on my rent and then also not working not working like at all the hours that like i needed to get to pay for my basic necessities in life um and then being that far on late on the rent i honestly thought i thought i was just going to be evicted i thought that they were going to take my initial deposit that you put down when you get an apartment to pay for the money that i was late on and i thought i was going to have to move into my truck and I was very worried about that, but now that's kind of behind me because I've been working a lot more hours. Um, I actually got like the biggest check that I've ever gotten with this company um, for $900, which doesn't sound a lot, but um, I get paid every single week. With my other job, it was bi-weekly, and bi-weekly, I was getting like less than $900. So for two weeks at my other job, I was getting less than 900, and now for working for one week, I got paid $900, which is fucking dope. Because if I kept up that pace, which is probably not gonna happen, of like working that much, she let's see 900 plus 900 is 1800 and then 18 plus 18 is like 3600 2000 plus 16 no 36 yeah 3600 dollars a month which would be absolutely insane and it's actually starting to look really really possible because like i've honestly been like wanting to to make so much more videos but I can't make all those videos that I want to make right now because because I have a job. I, I have a job and I can't I can't be out here making these videos as much as I want to. At least for right now. Because don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. But honestly. For 2025, I want to go daily, but I don't want to say anything about it because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do daily because how much I work. So, I mean, I still have like a long ass time to, um, to really figure out what the hell I'm going to do. I mean, worst case scenario, I would have to go back to bi-weekly, but I don't want to do bi-weekly because that will be backtracking. 
and you never want to get worse. You don't want to get worse. Every single year you should be getting better. I know that. But, hey, yo. Um, so at the beginning of this year, I set a goal for this YouTube channel that I wanted to make a thousand dollars this year. <sighs> this year. thousand dollars this year purely out of my youtube channel and so far we are crushing that so far i've already made 750 dollars purely through youtube adsense that's like when you see like an ad on my youtube videos that pays me and we've already put together 750 dollars straight into my bank account which is fucking dope and you know what I also found pretty amazing why I want to make YouTube videos is like literally, literally I can just make tw like $20 or more just pop out of, out of nowhere. I can literally just make 20 bucks just by recording myself and then like putting it up just out of nowhere. And typically like if you do that, you have to be like a drug dealer or doing something illegal. But this is like 100% legal. That's also another reason why I stopped working for my brother when I was like really down and out. And I was also about to get my car repossessed. I started to go working for, for my brother and my brother does illegal things. He sells like marijuana and he probably sells other things now because he's an idiot. But then I realized because I'm a security guard, you know, I do security and being a security guard is literally like the best job in the world, especially since now that I'm working for a company that I love to work for because I work in the film in, filming industry. And I, I love doing graveyard, you know, like if you guys don't know, like I'm a nocturnal person. Like I, I basically, I don't like to be outside during the, when the sun's up. I'm like the opposite, you know, so like I wake up at like 10 o'clock at night and then I'm up, you know, um, and they love having graveyard guards because apparently like a lot of, a lot of people can't do graveyard because they have families, they have this and that and da, 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 da. But for me, they, they, they love me and I love them because like I get to see so much shit that I can't really talk about, but, um, <laughs> It's pretty amazing to see like all the shit and it really keeps me on my toes of like my filming my vlogging like whatever the hell i'm doing like it shows me like bro you gotta fucking get your shit together <laughs> because these motherfuckers they be rolling through with like a hundred thousand dollar cranes just to get a shot that's like way up here and shit um <laughs> so <laughs> so um so working with my brother doing that illegal stuff you know me running the weed to the customers say if i get pulled over i get arrested i've been arrested before but that was like a logan paul thing and it wasn't like a serious thing running drugs to people is a very very serious thing especially you know i'm not sure if he was iding people if i come through and i sell to like maybe a 17 year old kid or no, even a 20 year old kid, some marijuana and I get caught, then that means that my security guard card license is going to be revoked. And I think it's like five years. So I realized that and I was just like, bro, I got to stop this. So that's why I kind of fucking give me that shit and fucking dip the fuck out. Um, but yeah, what what's or the next honestly like i have a lot of stuff in my mind of ideas and plans that i want to pursue with my apartment with my neighborhood but i'm not i'm not sh everything's like not really set in stone right now so i don't really want to talk to much about it because like i'm tired of like saying i want to do something and then not actually doing it so I'm just gonna basically not talk about that for now. Um, 
But until, until next time, get yourself right. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Make sure that you're hydrated. Make sure that you're getting fish oils in to lubricate your joints. Uh, make sure that you are loving yourself and taking care of yourself. Until I see you next week, I love you. Bye.